What is going on everybody, it's me Noel, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get CTGP Nitro, the custom version of Marker DS, on your modded 3DS or 2DS, modded DSi or DSi XL, and as well as your R4 flash card. And as you can see, I got my own copy of Mario Kart DS. Thankfully, this game still works, and we're gonna do it on a 3DS first. If you have not yet modded your 3DS or 2DS, stop this video and go to the website 3ds.hacks.guide to get in the process of modding your 3DS. So press start and power button to open God Mode 9. If it's asking you to create an essential files backup and set up the RTC date and time, press A to do so. From there, go to game cart and you want to go to the NDS file, not the trim NDS file, this one right here, the first one that I'm going to select. Press A and select copy to GM Night Alpha and this will take a while, so be patient. Once that's completed, go ahead, press A. Before we power off the device, go to SD, GM9, out folder, and as you can see, here's the NDS file of Marker DS that we backed up. It's in the out folder. Now let's go ahead and press the home button and power off, and we're gonna do it with a modded DSi and DSi XL, so be right back. Here we are, I'm on my childhood DSi XL, which if you're wondering how to install custom firmware on your Nintendo DSi or DSi XL, then the best website that you have to go to is dsi.cfw.guide, which is the safest method to mod your DSi or DSi XL, just like the 3DS, as you have to go to the website 3ds.hacks.guide. I'll put both links in the description, and please do not follow video tutorials on how to mod your DSi or 3DS, because that will definitely mess up your system if you end up doing something wrong. And you will need this application which is dogmo 9i by rocket Blocks, which i'll put the link in the description down below so make sure that your ds game cartridge is already inserted on your dsi and here we are we're in dogmo 99 from there you don't want to select these three the nitro the nan the ram and sd i mean actually four excuse me you want to select nds game card on your bottom screen you want to select rom if this is correct make sure that you're not using the trim one and this will take a while to back up the DS cartridge from your DSi SD card, so be patient. Once you're done backing up your DS cartridge on your SD card by using the Gun More 9i on your DSi or DSi XL, on Twilight Menu Plus Plus, go to your GM9i folder, which it should be created when you use Gun More 9i out folder. And here's the Mario Kart DS ROM that we backed up by using Gun More 9i. Now let's go ahead and power off our DSi XL. Before I move on, to my laptop, I'm gonna do this on a Nintendo 3DS. So go ahead, take out your SD card and put it on your computer. As I'm using a 8 gigabyte micro SD card via the SD adapter on my Japanese old 3DS. If you're doing this on a DSi or a DSi XL, the SD card slot is on the right. As this DSi XL using a 2 gigabyte card. If you have a flash card, and uh, there is a video tutorial that I'll put the link in the description down below. So let's get on with my laptop. Here we are. I'm on my laptop as I'm screen recording this via OBS Studio. On your Google Chrome, whatever web browser you're using, you want to type in a search bar, CTGP Nitro. Once you hit enter, you want to go to this first link right here, CTGP Nitro slash DSHack.org. Click on it, and here's the website. I'll put the link in the description down below if you want to have a look at it. And as you can see, if you scroll all the way down, there's the release 1.1.0 version that came out on April 12, 2024. I'm not going to read all this, but read it for yourself when you visit the website. From there, you want to click on download. Depending on what version is your Mario Kart DS, I'm doing the USA version, but there's the European version, the Japanese version, and as well as the web voucher too. But we're going to do the USA version. It'll take you to this website right here. Go ahead, click on download. And this will take a while, so just be patient with it. Ah, uh, okay. It took a few seconds. Not too bad. Once it's completed, it will be downloaded on your computer file, and here it is. It's in the zip file, and you want to extract it. Before we get on with the computer files, as I download the zip file for its CTGP Nitro for the USA version, for those of you who have a modded DSi or DSi XL, and you want to back up your whole entire collection of DS cartridges onto your SD card, you need this app called Gunmo 9i. This is their GitHub page. I'll put the link in the description down below and you want to download the gunmo9i.dsi file. I think you could do the NDS but you're mostly going to do the DSi file. If you have a 3DS or 2DS you can do the CIA if you want but I don't think it isn't worth it you know to download it since you already have gunmo9 on your modded 3DS by going to the written guide 3ds.hacks.guide so no need to bother downloading it. 
this. Once you're done downloading the CTGP Nitro 1.1.0, depending on what version is your Mario Kart DS, like I said, I'm doing the USA version because I live in America. Go to your downloads from your computer file, right click on it because the folder is zip, extract all of it, depending on what program you use, and click extract. This will take a few seconds and the folder is now unzipped. Click on it, go to Delta Patcher, and by the way, don't forget to name your Mario Kart DS ROM to whatever you want. In this case, I call it Mario Kart CTGP DS because why not? Go to Delta Patcher and go to deltapatcher.exe, this application. If you get a message like this, click more information and click run anyway. Don't worry, it's not going to do anything harm on your computer. It's not a virus, so don't worry about it. For the original file, what you're supposed to do is get your Mario Kart DS ROM that you back up by using God Mode 9 on your modded DSi or your modded 3DS or 2DS. Since I'm doing it on a 3DS, it's in the GM9 out folder. And and here it is. Click on it and for the X Delta patch, go to your downloads, CTTP Nitro, and here's the USA.X Delta patch. Click on it and here's the patch info if you want to read it and click apply patch. This will take a while, so be patient. Once the patch is successfully applied, click OK, close the program, and there you go. Your Mario Kart DS ROM is now patched to CTGP Nitro. Go ahead and eject your SD card from your computer. Click the eject button because it is safely to do before removing the SD card from your computer or your laptop. I'm gonna stop the video and get on with my iPhone and be right back. Like I said, I am doing this on a 3DS. Insert your SD card back into your system, turn it on, and launch Twilight Menu++. Plus Plus. By the way, if you want CTGP Nitro on your home screen, I will show that in this video. But first off, we're gonna do Twilight Menu++. Plus Plus. Here it is. If you're wondering how to get the Game Boy Color theme to Twilight Menu++, Plus Plus, press the select and you can change the theme whatever you want. You can do DSi, 3DS, Sega Saturn, Homebrew Launcher, R4 Original, Wood UI, but I'm just gonna leave it as Game Boy Color because it's really cool. Where to look for your Mario Kart DS ROM that you converted to CTGP Nitro? It's in the GM9 folder as I already back it up by using the God Mode 9. Click on it, out folder, and here's the Mario Kart DS CTGP Nitro ROM right here. Let's click on it. There it is, CTGP Nitro. You can play single player, multiplayer. I don't know if CTGP Nitro has their own servers, but if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Record and option. Let's go to single player. If you get any questions like this, just press A. It doesn't matter. Now let's go ahead and play single player. We're gonna go to versus so we can pick whatever map we want. Now when you press the R shoulder button on your DS or 3DS, you get the additional character. There's Minecraft Mario, Super Mario Kart SNES Luigi, I'm not sure what type of Princess Peach this is, Yoshi with a cowboy hat, Toad with that weird smile, looks kind of weird, Donkey Kong holding a barrow, Wario Rosalina, Bowser that looked like Dragon Tails from the kids show, Robot Mario, Waluigi with no beard, Dry Bones, I'm not sure what type of Dry Bones this is, and the old Daisy. And if you press the select button, which by the way, if you want the original characters, press the L button. If you press select, you play as the red Shy Guy. How cool is that? And you get the standard Shy Guy cart right here, what you're seeing right here. Now let's go ahead and press the R button for the custom characters and if you press the select button you get this cool character right here which is really cool we're gonna play as minecraft mario because why not and we're gonna choose streamliner all the cards are 100 percent unlocked for you when you play ctgp nitro for the first time so we're gonna do a streamliner because this is a cool cart we're gonna play 150cc, easy, and here are all the maps. These are all the original maps, custom maps, and if you go to Boomerang Cup, Key Cup, Balloon Cup, 
Wing Cup, Heart Cup, or GBA Cup, you'll see that all of them have the GameCube Yoshi circuit. Why? That's because the maps are still in development by the CTGP Nitro team. So they're still in development and this game will get updated soon. So be patient. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and select any map that I want to play. I am very picky, so I want to see which one I like. Oh, let's play the Wii U Hyrule Circuit because why not? We'll do one race and then once we're done, then I'll end it for the day. You have a bridge instead of a glide there. Oh god. Don't judge me when I'm playing Mario Kart DS because I have not played this game for so long as I move on to the newer Mario Kart games like Mario Kart 7 or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Oh god. Come on. Gosh. Yes, I got him. Come on, dude. Yeah. Free shell. Flying shell. I missed the blue flying shell, but instead it's a regular blue shell but without the wings. And as you can see, you can see the mushroom with the miles per hour on it, which is really cool. Ah! Here we are. Blue flying shell again. Come on. Ah! Piranha Zelda plant. Alright, I won. That's it for one race. And I'm gonna pause the video because I want to show you how to get CTGP Nitro on your 3DS home screen. So here we go. On the home menu, go ahead and launch the homebrew launcher. The application is called NDS4 Generator. Where to get it is from the Universal Updater app, which I'm not gonna show it because you should go look for it. Launch it and go to your GM9 folder. Like I said, I already back up my card DS cartridge by using God Mode 9. It's in the out folder. And here's the NDS file for CTGP Nitro. As I call it, Mario Kart CTGP DS. This will take a while. Go ahead, press the home menu button. Close it. And here we go. CTGP Nitro. Nintendo slash CTGP slash N Team. And you see the Shy Guy card, which is really cool. So that's it for the tutorial on how to get CTGP Nitro, the custom version of Mario Kart DS on your modded 3DS or 2DS, modded DSi, or your R4 flash card. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and then I'll see y'all next time.